Record global heating has invaded America's beaches. Water temps off the coast of Florida are registering in the mid-90s. It's not just depriving swimmers of cooling dips in the surf. It's making a real impact on our environment. Meteorologist Andrew Brightman is here with the science yeah. behind it all. Yeah, and Andrew, that's kind of like bath water. 90s, yeah. though, that's for air temperature, but 90s for the ocean temperature. That's a whole other story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it truly is incredible what we've been seeing. It's really been in around the Florida Straits. We've been seeing some of the warmest ocean water now as we get to towards the middle part of the summer. But again, all across the Atlantic Ocean, it has been just so incredibly warm. Some of the warmest temperatures we've ever seen off the coast of Africa as well. And I want to start off with the aspect of what this means for hurricane season, because obviously this is very important. Three major ingredients in terms of developing a hurricane. One of the most important ones, you need the ocean water, that temperature 80 degrees or higher because the hurricane it thrives on that warm moist air near the surface and again the warmer that ocean water is the more moisture it can pick up and lift it up through the thunderstorm uh, through the thunderstorm and helping it develop as well also you need a lot of moisture also in the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere because sometimes if you have a lot of moisture near the surface but up in the atmosphere it's very dry that also can limit the storm and then the last ingredient is you need all of that wind basically blowing in the same direction not a lot of wind shear as you head up through the atmosphere so i want to focus on the ocean temperature part everywhere in red it's over 80 degrees it could sustain a hurricane not too out of the ordinary for this time of year, but for the most part, those ocean temperatures are above where they should be just about all across the Atlantic Ocean. But I do want to focus in on everywhere highlighted in this darker red, those ocean temperatures are actually over 85 degrees. In fact, it's so warm, this is hot enough in the ocean to support a Category 5 hurricane. That is not normal for this time of year. It is very, very warm, especially across the Northwest Caribbean, through the Florida Straits, and eventually through the Gulf of Mexico as well. And just to put it in perspective here, you can see climatologically speaking, our hurricane season peaks in early September. The reason for it is there's a lag effect. Our longest day is in the middle of June. Our hottest temperatures in the middle of July, but it's really not towards the tail end of August and heading into September that our ocean temperatures peak. So our ocean temperatures potentially could be getting even warmer. Now I want to zoom in a little bit closer. What we have highlighted here, these are ocean temperatures over 90 degrees. In fact, as Brian was talking about, Murray Key down near the Florida Keys, 96.8 degrees. Literally almost bathtub water. And that's a major problem because when the ocean temperature gets that warm, you start talking about coral bleaching. Now, what is coral bleaching? Well, what gives the coral its color is algae that lives in its tissue. And when the ocean water can get too warm, that algae will leave the coral. It's also caused by other factors as well. But rising and sometimes falling ocean temperatures are really some of the big factors out there. And while the coral does turn white like you see behind me, it doesn't mean it's dead. It just makes it much more susceptible to disease and repeated stress over and over again can eventually kill the coral. So potentially stronger hurricanes later this year and also some vulnerable corals could be at risk, Tara, as we have these bathtub ocean waters through the middle of beach season.